Throughout Chapter 1, we spent the majority of our time examining different strategies for relating algebra to real life. However, we limited our study to the group of numbers that we refer to as whole numbers. In other words, we didn't deal with integers or negatives at all. So throughout Chapter 2, we're going to begin to deal with the other side of the number line, the other side of zero, uh, those negative numbers. I know some of you have a basic understanding of this, some of you have a, uh, a little bit more, some of you have a little bit less. Um, so just to begin, let's start out with a couple quick definitions. First of all, what are integers? They are uh, defined as the set of whole numbers, including zero, and their opposites. Opposites would be, uh, down here on the number line, as you can see, three, the opposite is negative three. So um, you can read this when you put the negative sign in front. Obviously, we read this a lot as negative three. Um, but you can also think of it as the opposite. So you can read this as either negative three or the opposite of three. That's going to come be very important later when we talk about um, multiplying and dividing with negatives. Another important point you see it here is that if we add two opposite integers, it equals zero, which gets to this concept of an absolute value. Absolute value is, of a number is its distance from zero. We'll use that today as we discuss adding and subtracting integers. So in other words, um, if we have a, an absolute value, here's the, the symbol down here. Um, you have two vertical lines around the number itself. Um, the absolute value of negative 4 is 4 because it is 4 spaces from 0 on the number line. Absolute value of 5, obviously 5 because it's 5 spaces away. So with these definitions in mind, let's go ahead and look at a couple examples. For these examples, uh, we're going to be working with uh, 3 and 2, and we're going to use these black chips and red chips to represent positive and negative numbers. For our first problem, we just have positive 3, and we're adding two more positives. It's very, very simple. 3 plus 2 is 5, and you can see that represented here. Uh, you probably did something like this in elementary school. You probably just don't remember it. Um, so on the number line then, another representation. If we add 2, remember that means we're getting more positive. So what we're going to do is we're going to move two spots toward the more positive direction, toward 5. Let's take a look at this with negative sign. If we have three negatives, that's three red chips, and I'm going to add 2 to that. So I'm going to take my two black chips, my two positives, I'm going to put them in there. Now remember our definition of the word opposite. Notice that the red chip and the black chip are opposites. They cancel each other out. They have the same absolute value. Um, they equal zero. So I have, notice, I had three red and two black. That means I had more negative than I have positive. So even when I add the two positives, even when I'm moving back toward the positive direction, I still end up with a negative one. Now let's look at a positive three. Now, notice now, now my absolute value, I have a larger positive number than negative number. So I have positive 3, and I'm going to add two negatives. Um, so two red chips on the board, and they're going to cancel out one red with one black. And notice there are not enough red chips to cancel out all the black chips, so I have one black chip left over. That's one positive. So that would be like, uh, so I end up with positive 1. That would be like on the number line, if I start at 3, if I add a negative, I'm getting more negative. Where more means add, right? So I'm getting more negative. I'm getting more negative by 2. So I end up at 1. All right, next. Notice how similar this is to 3 minus 2, just subtracting. 3 minus 2 is I have 3 black chips, and I take 2 away. But notice that's exactly the same as canceling out one black chip with one red chip. I'm still left with positive 1. So 3 minus 2. Same thing on the, on the number line, too. I start at 3. I take 2 away, 2 of those positives away, and I end up at one, so I'm getting less positive. Less means subtract. Same thing as adding a negative two. All right, one more addition problem. If I have three negatives and add two more negatives, I'm getting more negative. So I have nothing that's going to cancel anything out here. It's just three reds plus two reds gives me five negatives, negative five. So we're getting more negative. We're adding negative. We're getting more negative. So we're getting up with negative five. On the number line, we're starting at negative 3. Again, more negative means we're going to move to the left where more negatives are, and we end up at negative 5. All right, next, let's look at subtraction. 
I have negative 3. So I can put 3 reds on the board. But the problem is, if I want to take away 2 positives, so I'm subtracting 2, I don't have any black chips on the board. So here's how I'm going to fix that. A black chip and a red chip cancel out, right? So if I put a black chip on the board, I'm going to take it away later. But I'm going to put a black and a red together, so it's really like I'm adding 0. So now I have my black chip there on the board so that I can take them away. And notice what happens when I take them away. I'm left with 5 negatives. Notice how this is exactly the same as the one we just did. Negative 3 plus negative 2. So it's the same thing as adding a negative. Taking away a positive is adding a negative. Just like we did with 3 minus 2. Adding 3 minus 2 is the same thing as 3 plus negative 2. We're getting more negative. So let's look at what it, look, what it looks like to take away a... Let's take a look at what it would look like to subtract a negative. So this here, I have three positives. And again, to subtract a negative, I've got to have a negative on the board to take it away. So to fix that, I'm going to put a, a red with a black, just so I have the red there to take away. Again, they're opposites, so it's like I'm adding nothing. So those will cancel out right there. Now, though, I have two reds that I can take away. Now, if we put this into words, notice what this is. We are starting at 3, and we're getting less negative. That means we're getting more positive. So subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So here we go. We're going to get more positive by 2 by subtracting a negative. And one more problem. Let's look at uh, a negative minus a negative. So I have negative 3. So put three reds on the board. And I need to take away two negatives. So same scenario here. That means I have to add two black and red combinations. That way I have my two reds to take away. Again, those cancel out. And now I have these two that I can get rid of. So I'll take my two reds away. And notice this is the same exact thing as adding two positives to my negative three. These will cancel out. I, my negative three, I didn't have enough blacks to cancel that out, so I'm left with one negative. Okay, so if I start at negative three on the number line, I'm going to get less negative. That means I'm going to get more positive, but notice, again, my absolute value that I'm uh, subtracting here isn't big enough to get back to uh, the positive. So I'm getting more positive, but that doesn't mean I end up with a positive. So on your homework tonight, go ahead and think about these chips Use the absolute value, use these different strategies that we talked about in the video to try and take your best crack at those next those two assignments beneath this, the adding integers assignment and the subtracting integers assignment. Tomorrow in class, we'll practice this a little bit more. We'll go in a little bit greater detail as well. Good luck.